Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today I'm going to try out a hair tool that I can't believe that I actually have, that I actually own because it is so expensive and I can't believe that I spent $550 for the Dyson Airwrap. Oh my god, guys. I finally got my hands on this. This was actually very hard for me to get because once it came out, it like sold out right away. And now I was finally able to find it on QVC and they have it available. So if you guys want to purchase it, check out QVC and you can do easy payments. So that's a big plus. I have very, very big curly hair and I'm going to insert videos in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But my hair can get very big, very poofy and it is very very curly <laughs> so let's see if this works on my hair but before i start this video please give this video a big thumbs up give this video a thumbs up for me buying this very expensive hair tool <laughs> like did i really just do that like oh my god i hope that i like this and if i don't like this i'm gonna return it i'm gonna return it this better be magic this better be amazing so let's open this up Ooh, wow this feels like really good quality whoa so this is one of the attachments so this is just kind of like to air dry your hair um just like a regular blow dryer there's a round brush just like the revlon one step hair dry and volumizer but a lot smaller and i hope this doesn't pull my hair i'm definitely gonna be using this one probably most of the time so this is kind of like a paddle brush as you can see i'm gonna try it out just to try it out for this video i hope i like it i don't usually use paddle brushes when i blow out my hair but we'll try it out and let's see if it works then it brings another paddle brush but this one is the soft smoothing brush so this is the firm smoothing brush and then this is the soft smoothing brush so let's see how these two are different from each other and then the cool thing about the air wrap are these attachments right here. So these are the 1.6 inch barrels. This is going to wrap your hair to this side and then this is going to wrap your hair to this side. So it brings two for one for each side and then it brings the same but smaller. So 1.2 inch barrels. So we're definitely going to try all of these out and I can't wait. Super excited. So the first attachment that I'm going to use is actually I'm going to go for a paddle brush. Let's start with that. So I'm going to prep my hair. I'm going to use the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. You guys already know I love this for my blowouts. It's like the best product ever for prepping your hair. It just leaves your hair so soft so shiny and it's like amazing i just love it so much so i guess this is the heat setting and then the speed so i'm just gonna put it all like all the way high and okay let's try this So that blow dryer is very powerful. Wow. Okay, so that attachment for my hair type, you know, it's not bad because it did leave it pretty smooth. As you can see, it looks pretty smooth. But I do feel like I might like the round brush a little bit better. So I'm going to switch it out. It looks nice, but I know that I can get a better blowout so I'm gonna take this one out I kind of want to try one of these attachments now on my dry hair to see if it works because I did hear that you kind of need it to be a little bit damp um, to use these but I want to try it out and see how that works so let's try this out 
gonna take a small section of hair. I'm just gonna let it wrap by itself. So let's see. Oh my god! Wow, that is so cool. Whoa. Just gonna leave it there for a little bit. Maybe like 30 seconds. Wow, that is so freaking cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the cool shot. So, let's see. That's the cool shot. And I'll just let it go. Okay. Wow, okay. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna try the smaller one. Whoa, okay, I'm very excited to use this. I'm very, very excited to use this now. Okay, so that got me excited because that's something different, you know? Um, is it this one? No, it's the other one. This one, away from the face. So this is a smaller one. Let's try that. So just turn it on. Just let it wrap by itself. Oh my god! This is so cool. Ooh. Check that out. So it kind of depends on what you want. So this is the bigger curl, and then this is the smaller curl. That is so cool. Yeah, I really, really like these attachments. These are like my favorite so far okay so let's take this off and let's do the round brush actually before i do this i want to try the other one the other paddle brush Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I kind of liked this one a little bit better. This is the soft smoothing brush, and then this is the firm smoothing brush. I just felt like this one was a lot stronger, and it kind of got my hair a little bit more straight. Um, this one is alright. I just, I'm not a fan of paddle brushes. I just don't think that they work very well on curly hair, at least not for me. So let's try out the round brush. This is the attachment that I can see myself using for my blowouts, not the paddle brushes. So let's do the round brush on this section of hair. This feels more like it, definitely. Can definitely you can smooth out the hair better and you can just have more control of everything I just like this one a lot better and I'm not even done using it but yeah yeah this is definitely more like it this is what i'm looking for my neck is a little bit red because this gets very very hot like whoa but this is a very nice blow dryer like this is just like on some other level like this is some good stuff right here i mean it has to be right like it's super expensive as you can see i can kind of even work on the ends a little bit kind of twist the ends a little bit with the round brush and look at that shine 
It looks so shiny and so healthy. My hair is so soft. So I'm just gonna do this side to see if I can kind of smooth it out a little bit with the round brush and I'll be right back. Yeah, already it looks a lot smoother on this side, so I'm definitely going to use the round brush and not the paddle brushes because I just feel like with curly hair, again, paddle brushes aren't that great in my opinion. I prefer the round brush 100%. It definitely smooths out the hair a lot better and the curls are just like gone. I want to try the last attachment because you guys obviously maybe want to know how this works this is just like a regular blow dryer though so let's see what this can do let's turn it on very strong whoa this is very powerful okay i don't want to get my hair anymore dry if you just want like a very quick dry um this is probably the attachment for you if you just want something that's gonna dry your hair very quickly this is it so i'm gonna finish my hair and i'll be right back with my final blowout look guys i forgot to mention but i'm gonna time this i'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me to blow out my hair i'm gonna start the timer right now and i'm gonna let you guys know how long it took me maybe just add five more minutes to the final time Okay guys, so here's the final look. So this is what my blowout looks like. As you can see, a lot of shine. I mean, look at that. It's a lot of shine. Volume has like a different bounce. I'm like super hot though. Like I broke a sweat. This tool gets so, so hot. It did pull my hair quite a bit. So far, I'm liking the Dyson Airwrap. I really like this attachment. It did take me a little bit longer to blow out my hair than usual because it usually takes me about 40 minutes in total. It took me 42 minutes to do my hair, which is not bad, um, but if you do add like five minutes to that, because remember I did do some sections of hair before timing it. So if you do add like five minutes to that, it's gonna be like 47 minutes, which is almost an hour. So that is kind of long. My hair takes a while to blow out and especially with a smaller brush like this, gonna take me even longer but i mean i do like the results i feel like with this you can definitely get a little bit more of a bend on the ends and more volume now what i want to do is that i want to just finish up the look with the bigger barrel and i want to just do a couple of curls real quick let me just turn this on <laughs> so here's what my hair looks like after using the actual like air wrap attachment so as you can see it looks pretty nice a lot of bounce um i do feel like this side is already falling though like the curls but it's definitely like a new different 
look very bouncy very very shiny so yeah this is kind of like the final final look you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think i do feel like it looks very shiny very very healthy do i think it is worth 550 dollars you do get a lot of different attachments and you can blow out your hair with the round brush then you can do different type of waves with this you have different sizes I don't know, $550 is a lot of money. And I just gotta see how this works for me on the long run. I gotta see if it pulls my hair too much, if it damages my hair. But I'm just gonna keep trying it out, keep playing with it, and I'll keep you guys posted for sure. I'm definitely gonna film a video doing like go side by side comparison with this and the Revlon brush because I know a lot of you are gonna wanna watch that. So i'm definitely gonna film that for you guys i do really like how my hair looks it looks very healthy it has a lot of volume it's not super sleek i will say that it's not like super sleek but it definitely looks nice like it looks very bouncy very healthy all right guys that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video and if you liked this video, then I'm sure you're going to like these videos as well. So make sure you go ahead and check out those videos. Bye, guys. Love you.